All right, good morning vlog. Today is Saturday, July 29th at 9.39 in the morning and we're going wedding dress shopping, all of us. So, we'll see y'all there. This is like future Diana coming in to edit everything because I know that this is gonna be a question that a lot of y'all are gonna ask. So let me just go ahead and nip it in the bud. Number one, am I pregnant? Absolutely not. Number two, oh my gosh, why are you not slowing down? Why are you not enjoying your engagement? Why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing that? Because it's my life with my fiance and it's not yours. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm not saying that to be nasty. I'm not saying that to be ugly. But I've gotten a lot of comments in the past like week and a half, like two weeks that I've been engaged and people are like, oh my gosh, you need to slow down. Like you need to enjoy your engagement. We are. Justin and I just know exactly what we want. And we have a team of people on our side. Like my mom used to plan weddings. Do you think that she doesn't know like where to get the best dresses from or who has the best floors and who has this and who has that? I don't have to work nearly as hard with the amazing people that I have in my corner. And that's not me being sassy. That's not me being ugly. But I'm just saying. So before the rumors start circulating that I'm pregnant and blah, blah, blah. I'm also not a person that believes that. OK, let's say let's play along with the idea of the rumor that's circulating right now that I am pregnant. Let's play along with that. What does that fix? That doesn't make Justin love me anymore. That doesn't make our marriage strong. Like that doesn't do anything except for complicate things. Getting married doesn't fix a baby. Like that, like Justin and I are not like, I guess, traditional in that way. Like if I'm pregnant, we're not going to get married because that doesn't fix anything. I'm still pregnant and I was still pregnant before the marriage. Like, what does it matter? You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, not pregnant and we are enjoying our engagement. We're having a great time. Nobody said I'm getting married in the next five minutes, but y'all also know if y'all have been like a part of the weekly vlogs for a little bit now, especially when I was in nursing school, which I'm going back in a few weeks, but my life is so hectic. It's so hectic, like between going to school, working 40 hours a week, having Jojo, still trying to maintain relationships, all the social media stuff I have to do. Like I am a busy, busy person. So me being here at home at this time and having my mom and my brother and my sister uh, and my aunt and like having all of those people here with me who I don't get to see very often, be able to experience me going out and buying a wedding dress. That is something so, so special that I will hold in my heart for the rest of my life. It was an amazing experience. And of course y'all are about to see it, but it was awesome. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and do it. I had the means to go ahead and get the dress right then. I don't see like what waiting is. I understand that people typically have, you know, a year, two year engagement. So that's because they have to plan like, oh, the venue and the photographer and the videographer and the floor and the, ca uh, the caterer. And oh, this venue doesn't open up until this time, two years from now. And I really want my wedding there. So we're going to have it right there. Justin and I don't have to do that. So we don't have to wait as long. If we both know that we want to be with each other and that we want to be married and the end goal is to start our life together. Why would we wait the typical traditional two and a half years to do that? Does it make any sense um so yeah just you know sit back enjoy the ride it's gonna be okay <laughs> i want to go ahead and make the disclaimer of letting y'all know that none of the wedding dresses in this clip are the wedding dress that i picked because i want that to be private and like for justin to have an oh my gosh moment we're still gonna go wedding dress shopping and you're gonna see some dresses that i was almost like oh i really really want this one but the one that i picked is not in this video all right so it is 10 o'clock on the dot and we are at walmart right now and I literally said to my mom, I was like, yeah, I should probably put my ring on. And she was like, yeah, that's probably a good idea. And we left the house. And as I was driving, I was like, you know what? I forgot my ring. So she called David's bridal and she got the appointment moved from 1030 to 12. So we're at Walmart. I think my mom needed some kind of like jumper or something. Um, they were going to the outlet and I guess back home to get my ring. I'm trying not to feel bad about it simply because... I know the reason that I forgot it is because I'm not used to wearing it, so it'll be okay. Can we try on a veil? I could not pull off. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think I'm like a full long <laughs> one or a shorter one. It's been a long time. It's beautiful. It's taking a second to get used to. No, I was waiting for it. You have two more for her, right? I like it, it's just okay, not. No waist. Not you want it clenched more at the waist. Is it? I make good macaroni. She says, "Give you make good macaroni." <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. It's just. 
so a different size? Oh, or it's just a style? Size. I think it's just like, mm. it's full oh, I like that show. Yeah, that's wow. cool. It's pretty. Yes. Let's go check this way, it'll be your bun here. Okay. How do you feel? Wait, like, what? Like, so cute. Lots of lots or run away? The veil does a lot, a lot of the time. Ready for this? Yeah. I'll take my sample phone call. It's just too cool. What if we, um, can we put a belt around that one? Yes, I'll grab one in one second. This one is off the shoulder. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Fold over. Like that. Um, it's light, but it's like, I couldn't kick my leg if I wanted to. I'm not a big fan of this. That's me. A bit bigger. Oh, this one looks oh, like oh, these are both pretty. That's always the awesome. oh, Let's try the smaller one because you like to spin forward. Then. 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 Can we do the veil? It's just right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm mean, liking it. Your back looks so pretty. I know. Your back is beautiful. It looks so pretty. It's still getting back. And this veil does shed glitter. That's okay. Just the heads up, you're going to have glitter on you. Okay. I think so. This is just... This is just something that's going to match the belt. Okay. That's really pretty. Hey, look. It's giving right. This one's a little bit less. Okay. I kind of like it. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so cute. I'm just like a Christmas What? <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't like it as much as the other ones, but. I'm stuck on the one of four days. Your whole dress is going to fall down. <laughs> <sighs> this is one that you definitely need to have taken in at the top to fit yeah. just exactly right. Because okay. otherwise it is going to fall. Right. And it, the way it's designed, <laughs> it, when it is the right size, mm -hmm. it's not going to slip at all. Right. But when it's not the right size, it is going to slip. Very casual. Like it's obviously very like, it's a wedding dress, but it's a very casual wedding dress. And I like uh, this one is, it sits right in that middle ground where it's very like it. princessy and elegant yeah but like it's not but too much yeah the simplicity of it i like it i think it's great. really lets you do whatever you want with it so what's the final consensus the other one. i don't like it as much as the other one <laughs> i'm gonna be for real yeah i like the second one that's yeah. what we like right the second one yeah, yeah. it's very beautiful it's pretty you know what I'm talking about? The swimmer shoes? It's like they look yeah, like they're like for your feet, but they look like hands. You were never freaking me them? out. Oh, well, I'm thinking of something so ugly. Don't show Maya, no, please don't. I'm thinking of something oh, no, so ugly, and I hope you're not them. thinking about that. Oh, because it's pretty bad. Okay, so we're at the Cheesecake Factory. I don't know what this drink is called. It's called Mango Strawberry something. Nisha, what'd you get? Um, peach and lemonade. And then mom got the same. And then Maya. I got a Shirley got... Temple. I got a Shirley Temple, y'all. <laughs> Jay. Is it good? It's very good. I honestly kind of wish that I got the peach lemonade. Though. Okay, here's Maya's food. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. The world has to know. Thank you. Absolutely. You get it. You get it. All right, so this is Maya's food. She got the orange chicken. I got the macaroni cheeseburger and mama no air, no oxygen, no carbohydrates, no cheese, no tomatoes, no peppers, no nothing. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know what is this herb crusted thing. Um, yeah, the old ladies want to go home. So me and Maya are gonna go and see Barbie. Hi, Barbies and Kens and others. All right, y'all, so here are my nails before my last manicure was really bad. I ended up losing this whole nail, but we're gonna go in and get something different. Okay, this is another editing dry on a moment because I definitely forgot to show y'all my nails. So it's been like almost a week exactly that I got my nails done, but they're this really fun purplish pink and I got them rounded and I think they're so cute. All right, y'all, good afternoon. Today is Sunday, July 30th at 1252 p.m. And today we're getting our ears pierced. So I, well, first my sister wants to get her septum pierced 
and I wanted to get my second and third hole I don't think I'm gonna be too ambitious I think I'm just gonna get my second hole today and I find a cute little shop in Seattle that does it um, just because tattoo shops sometimes freak me out really bad and I just can't deal with like the dark and scary rock mute like it's just I get for some people <coughs> that's probably really calming but for me it just stresses me out so Maya is gonna go get hers done in the mall and then I'm gonna go get mine done at the shop and then Kobe is gonna get his done closer to his birthday because our mom has to be there because I'm not his legal guardian so I can't legally sign off I'll let me make sure I have my ID yes um okay so yeah we're gonna go we're also we have so words we also have to go to ikea because i have to get a couch today so fun probably yeah <laughs> so <scissor. laughs> anyway <laughs> um so we got our drinks from starbucks i get the ice blonde vanilla latte with cinnamon dolce and caramel drizzle i get a venti uh white chocolate cream frappuccino with five pumps of white mocha and I get extra whipped cream because it's good. Kobe? I got a caramel ribbon crunch with extra caramel. And? Oh, and a cake pop. Yeah. It's all so depressed. Right. And me and Mari got I'm grilled cheeses. It's a mark. All right, y'all. Maya is about to go and get her septum pierce. This is her before. I mean, you can film it, but I'll just tell you. I'll just watch it after. No, I'm just saying he might not, because um, this is kind of um, scary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Never mind. I'll film on my phone, and I'll show y'all. We gotta be sneaky. <laughs> y'all it's 256 Maya got her nose pierced tell us about the experience um it hurt a little bit but like it oh let me write the pain it was like a two out of ten and compared to my other piercings my belly button was a zero out of ten it did not hurt at all my my nose like my nose that I got now it's a hoop but that was also like a zero out of ten so this one hurt the worst but it's still two yeah, it was good. The person who did my piercing was super nice and funny and tried to calm me down, which was sweet. I recommend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go to my piercing appointment. It's in Capitol Hill. So maybe like 30 or so minutes away. So I really don't know how traffic is going to be. So I and feel like we should just like go ahead and go. Yeah, and trying to find parking. So we're going to go. All right, y'all. So we're walking in Seattle. About to go and get my ears pierced at this cute little place called studs i'm pretty sure we walked like a half a mile to get here not our best decision i'm not really super nervous i just kind of have to pee so i'll see y'all in there i hated getting called george they're either super nice or the meanest people you've ever met in your entire life there is no in between unfortunately i don't know if you're built for it but i'll pray for you thanks okay so come look at those dots tell me what you okay. think. deep breath in i know great job um the product i'm going to suggest you to use i'm just letting you know now it's going to dry you out more okay so i don't want you to look and be like what is wrong with my ears <laughs> what did this girl do no, to me because it's the product yeah okay um just kind of sucks the last little bit of life it's out of cool. it but it'll make sure you don't get an infection so okay. um, that's important yeah it's priorities more than anything I saw this thing where like people have this this like rope and it was like dilation measurements. Oh yeah, the or something like that. Yeah, the dilation beads. And I was like, that looks crazy. Just carrying it around. That's wild. Yeah, some people have it like attached to their badge, but I think it's a little bit freaky because like when you go in to so check, gross. like you use the two fingers. Yeah. But some people, especially if you're a new grad nurse, like you'll take the beads and like measure it against it. So now you have coochie juice That's just insane. on your. And I'm just like. That's what I thought. That's what I was thinking, right? Please. Deep breath in. I know. Good job. But yeah, everybody's tootie is different. And it's hard because like you think you're feeling one thing and you're feeling something totally different. Yeah, it's freaky. Can't imagine. Yeah. Alright, y'all. <laughs> no free promo, Drake. None of that. Um, it's 608. Got my ears pierced. So we went in there and first of all we had a really hard time finding it. We ended up finding it, we went in there, and everybody seemed kind of standoffish, but I feel like that's just because I'm used to Southern hospitality, and it was no like, hi, how are you? They were sitting up there talking to each other. Yeah, like they could have cared less that I had an appointment. Um, so I really had to go to the restroom, and she was like, we don't have a restroom, you can go to the bar. And so I had to go outside and go to a bar. 
So they came back in, the girl called me back, and I was pointing at my siblings, I was like, can I bring them? And she was like, no, no. And I was like, okay, sorry. Um, and so we went back there, and she was talking to me, and as soon as we got back there, like she was, well, first, um, she's like, have you picked out earrings? And I was like, no. And she's like, so nobody came and talked to you? Like, nobody brought you over here for your earrings? And I was like, no. And she kind of seemed annoyed. So I feel like she was in a bad mood because it's probably not the first time this happened. And then it was also like later in the day. So she's probably been dealing with BS all day. So I didn't take it personally like I usually did. So she's like, okay, like you can select any of these. I just have to stay in for, I think she said six to eight weeks or something like that. So I picked these really small, it's kind of hard to see, but these really small like opal kind of earrings. I mean, she's like, okay. So she went to the back, she went to go set stuff up. Then she called me back and so we sat down and of course y'all are gonna see all of this in the vlog, but we sat down, it was really quick. It honestly was not super painful. Like I would have gotten my third hole pierced if the final bill wasn't like $165. So it's kind of a lot, um, but I feel like it would have been that much anywhere I went but anyway we're back at the mall just because we wanted to go well I wanted to go and get um a set of earrings that match this one because I literally saw them in there when Maya was about to get her septum so I was like this is perfect like it's a matching set but the set that I'm going in to get is only $20 which is amazing the, the smaller ones were $50 so we're gonna go in here we're gonna do that I think Maya said she's I'm gonna, gonna get go something out of the food court I'm hungry I'm gonna get Miss Ann's um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kofi, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. I just took one. We're probably going to see Barbenheimer tomorrow, and then probably Ninja Turtles on Wednesday. So, because Kofi really wants to go. <laughs> but yeah, let's go in here. And let's get these earrings. All right. So these are the earrings that I got. They perfectly match the ones that are already in my ear. So that was perfect. Why would it not hurt if you're touching a fresh piercing? Obviously, it's gonna hurt. I thought I was just gonna just spray around and just. No, you gotta get in there for the crusties. No! Yes, you do! Or sign the heel. Guys, mine's gonna hurt way worse. I can't do it. Mine's gonna hurt way worse. Bruh. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay. Um, so you take a Q-tip. Oh! My. Pay, pay attention. You take a Q-tip. Take the bottle off. A lot of people like to spray like this, but I like to hold it like on the thing so it only, it's not gonna relax. Okay, yours doesn't work like that. So. I'm scared. Why can I not press this down? Do you need to turn it first? No. Maybe I'm just pressing it wrong. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, well. Okay, so. What? Okay. So Sorry. You, so you take this and you know, go by your piercing and you circle it. But for now, you shouldn't have any crusties. When you have crusties, it'll get bigger so you can kind of go up in the, under there, but you probably shouldn't have any crusties, so you're gonna go over it, like circle over it. I'm gonna do it in there. Big! Just okay, wait. Why? Okay. Okay, are you gonna do it? Because I'm gonna use a different one. Yeah, I'm gonna use a different one. Okay. Wait, let me wash my hands first. Cheese. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Tree new. Okay, well, if you're complaining about that. I'm about to have two in my nose rotating like this. Okay, but you're used to that. First of all, you also no, have a high. Fine. No, you have a high pain tolerance, so this is nothing to you. I'm about to wipe my hand on her different towels. I'm about to wipe my hand on the face towel. Okay. Yeah, sorry, mom. I'm not sorry, mom. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Everybody, let's relax. I feel like everybody's getting really worked up. Yeah. Maya should took a shot. Okay. You should. It's never too late. Maya, I can't do this. I so cannot do it, Maya. Okay. Clean this piercing. What do I do? You circle it very gently. You don't, when I say dig in there, I don't mean stab yourself. Like, you know, just gently work your way in there. Do you want me to give you an example of my random ear? I'm yeah. Random piercings. Okay. So, say if this is the thing, right? Well, I grab my ear like this. Part. You go like that. <laughs> Let me, this is the other side. Let me show you how hard I'm going. I'm going like that. That is not that hard, baby. Maya! Okay. No, so I go like over the jewelry? Yes. Over the jewelry? Yes. I'm swiping the jewelry? Yes. The jewelry's gonna be wet. What well, are you? Maya. Okay, well, I'm, you go and I'll tell you if you're doing it right. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Okay. No, don't look, don't look, don't look. Okay. She's a cunt. Mm. Treat me. <laughs> Just do it. Okay. Maya! Just go. Okay. Bro, <laughs> hey, it's probably dry by now. Hold on, I'm actually scared for that. Oh, it's actually nothing. Never mind. 
Why does this not hurt at all? Shut up. Ooh, that is so weird. I feel like that should hurt a little bit more. It's thing. It does? Maybe I'm saying that. I don't know. Okay. Okay, now for the first day, there's not really crusties, but when there's crusties, you're going to have to, you know, blah, blah, blah. But best recommendation, actually, if you actually have, like, crusties, if you get in, if you take a shower first, it'll soften them and it, like, wipes wipes away like jelly. Like So right now, you don't have crusties, so. I'm doing it right? Yeah, but you can also swipe the actual jewelry, too. Like, you know, just a little. Yeah. You don't have to do too much. Oh. Like, you're good. Oh. But you also have to do the back. You definitely have to do the back. With the same one? No, just do a different side or do a different one. Like I can't see the back. Yeah, you just feel around. Okay. Ah! Ooh, that's blood. Okay. Maybe I'll get more comfortable with it the more I have to do it. I don't think it hurts, I just think I'm freaky. Like it's freaky. Like I've never had to do this before. I was three minutes old when mom did this. What's happening? I'm moving it so I can make sure that I even got the inside part, like the part that's actually inside my nose clean. But when I was moving it earlier, Jay, I was sitting there for 30 seconds trying not to cry her so bad. I just can't see back here. Like, I don't know what's happening. I just have to hope and pray that that's correct. Yeah, that's what I do. All right. Oh, I thought you was putting the wig on. I was already about to say you look bad before. What? Did I look bad? I thought you were putting a wig on. Well, you put on a random wig that come from under the thing. Like, yeah. I feel like anybody looks bad. My, why was I about to take my earrings off? <laughs> oh, also the plans for oh the my gosh i'm sorry this is what i mean it's not the worst plan ever like i could shut up right now i'm choosing to speak oh okay after we came from the mall the second time we just came home we ate dinner sat on the couch watched dance moms but i found out that john and kate plus eight is on tubi and at first my thought that we were gonna have to watch a tubi original but we're not doing that. We're watching Johnny Cake with eight, and we're gonna have ice cream sandwiches. And we're gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow we're gonna go to Orange Theory. Um, so I gotta make sure that I get a good night's rest. And then we're supposed to be going to the movie tomorrow to see Barbenheimer. Also probably go to IKEA to look at some couches. We were supposed to do that today, but the day kind of got away from us. So we'll see y'all in the morning. Bye y'all. Good morning. So I'm pissed off. Because, okay, y'all know that, not in the last vlog, but the vlog before, I was involved in a car accident, had pulled into a parking spot. So I was like turning and a car like literally came from this way. I was maybe going like 15 miles an hour and just rammed into the back of my car. And she didn't care that she hit my car. She tried to run off, but then she like eventually stopped and whatever, got her insurance, filed a claim through her insurance, because obviously it's your fault, so your insurance company is going to pay for it. And um, so I was like calling the adjuster over and over again, like, hey, 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 like, when are y'all gonna come and look at my car? Because we're kind of under the assumption that it may or may not be totaled. Um, so that really sucks. But I finally got on the phone with the adjuster like maybe a few days ago. And she was like, yeah, um, the reason I haven't called you back is because we're still trying to get in contact with our insured, i.e. the girl that hit me. She's not answering the phone for them. She refuses to pick up the phone. And so it's making this process a lot longer than it really needs to be. And that's frustrating because when I go back to Mobile, I need to either have a brand new car or I need to have my car fixed. That, like, like there's no other option. So I called my insurance company. I told them what happened and they were like, I don't only have one or two options. One, you can just kind of wait on them and just kind of wait and see what they're going to do. Or two you can file a claim with us of course you'll be subject to your deductible which is either like 500 or a thousand dollars which is fine um we'll fix the car and then when they realize that their insured person is at fault then they'll pay back like geico their money and then me my money but it's like i shouldn't like girl you trying to get me to run around you you whatever i'm gonna calm down but now i'm gonna file a claim with geico and then we're gonna go on a run to boxcar park which is kind of like this nice little like beachside island and it's gonna be great but let me file this claim and then i'll be right back okay so i just got off the phone with the adjuster like as soon as i facetimed justin she called me back so let me give y'all a rundown of kind of what happened so she was like is it okay if i record like voice record so that you know we can have it and i was like yes absolutely we go through the whole thing at the end of it she was like yeah this is definitely you know the other car's fault and they're pretty much at fault I also don't think I told y'all this, but the girl that hit me is like not answering the phone for
for her insurance company. She refuses to answer the phone for them. So that's why this process is taking so much longer than it normally would. Um, because, you know, she's just not answering. And I feel like the guilty speak. You know what I mean? Like, you're not answering the phone because you know that you're guilty and you're afraid of getting in trouble. And mommy and daddy are going to get on you. Which I get it. Like, I get it. But, I mean, her car is not damaged very badly my car is damaged pretty badly and I would like to have that fixed you know what I mean so my answer insurance adjuster that I talked to was amazing oh my like I could have I could not have asked for a nicer person she was very nice she was very understanding she always made sure that I understood everything like every step of the way she was perfect she was perfect um and it was just like very quick like Geico does not play around like you heard one of their insured they're coming after you they're coming after you so anyway um ended up talking on the phone to her and she was like do you have anything that places her at the scene i was like yeah um i take pictures of her car and so i sent her like the timestamp, like you know an iphone like you can touch it and say like oh you know august 21st uh, you know whatever time whatever so i took a picture of that i also had a picture of her like when i took a picture of her license i also got a picture of like her in it as well so she can't say like oh i was never there this never happened man i got the video i got the picture you know what i mean so so that happened um so i was under the impression that my grandma was going to be able to just drop my car off in mobile to whatever you know geico wanted it to be dropped off so they can fix it but since my grandma's not a policy holder and she's not listed as like one of the drivers of my car she can't do that so um my adjuster was like you know whenever you go back to tuscaloosa we could just set an appointment for them um so now i have an appointment for august 21st at nine o'clock in the morning to go and drop my car off and yeah yeah so pretty much everything is working out um i have a thousand dollar deductible which just means that let's say if the price of the repair is five thousand dollars i have to pay a thousand and then my insurance company will pay the other four thousand if that makes sense um but when her insurance finds her at fault and when my insurance company ends up going after them then like they have to pay us all of our money back so i get my thousand dollars back geico gets their money back everybody's happy i have a new car well everybody's happy except for the girl that literally ran off um so yeah that's what's going on um also let's talk for a second just like very body conscious and just not really liking the way that my body looks um and it's really like it's my upper body that i don't necessarily like like that is just not what i want you know and then on that side and then i don't like you know the little you know right here but that's okay it's okay to not like it what's not okay is to not like it and then be sad and then like not want to do anything about it you can be sad about it you can feel however you want about it i'm saying you but i mean me um you can feel however you want about it but the only way that like this is going to change if i don't like this the only person that can change it is me so i have to get out there i have to be in the gym a little bit more I have to be a little bit more consistent because like let's be real with ourselves i have not been consistent this past like month like all of july i've not been consistent i've had so much stuff going on so i have been consistent and that's okay i'm big enough to admit that right um so yeah i'm gonna go for a ride today at boxcar park because it has such a beautiful running trail and i'm like all over running tiktok all over again and somebody was like how to make a run easy find a run trail with pretty views and so we're in seattle so of course i'm gonna go somewhere with some nice views so this is the running outfit of the day i think it's really cute i got it from dick's sporting goods it has also from dick's sporting goods um, but yeah, so we're gonna go for a run and then we're probably gonna go and get Starbucks after and then go to the movies for the rest of the day. We also need to go to Ikea. We have a lot that we need to do today. So let's just start with the run. We can go mukbang? No. <laughs> we should, not like an actual one, but like we should just. We Which should one's just, ours? This one? Yeah. Um, so update, it's 5.52 and we just finished watching the Barbie movie and it was really good. Like when she was like, oh, Barbie's for everybody. I kind of didn't believe her, but it was such a good movie. It was a very good movie. I feel like the only element that was missing was Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion should have definitely been somebody's Barbie, like fitness Barbie or something like that. It would have just made everything, you know, a lot better. But we are going to go and see Oppenheimer. It starts at 6.30, but like really seven. So we're gonna go see that. It's three hours long. It is what it is. I've also been really anxious today, but like I don't really have anything to be anxious about, but I'm just anxious. But I think I may be anxious just because I am somebody that loves structure and since I'm not like going to work or I'm not in school right now um, my days are kind of up to me and so I have a really hard time feeling successful throughout my day so I think tomorrow especially since it's the first I'm gonna go to Orange Theory and I feel like that'll make me feel better um yeah that's kind of it so we're gonna eat our Chick-fil-A and we're gonna go back to the movies 
right, vlog so we're about to go and see oppenheimer um it is rated r because of the titties so yeah kobe's also with us so they said that i can bring him as long as i'm over 21 um if they say no kobe will be watching the barbie movie again like that's just literally yeah so Wait, what? we'll let y'all know what happens <laughs> today is tuesday august 1st at 12 38 p.m um so let's do a little recap of last night because i was so tired and my head was hurting so bad i just couldn't pick up the camera but yesterday we did barbenheimer if you don't know what barbenheimer is it's when you go to the movies and you see barbie and oppenheimer in the same day um the barbie movie overall was very very cute i loved it um it even almost brought me to tears at some point like it just made me really proud to be a girl um then after that we left we went to chick-fil-a y'all saw that and then we went back to go watch oppenheimer it is a three-hour movie it is very long it's very detailed but i also love history movies and i'm like a science girl so i was like wow like this is you know it's checking out my boxes um it was cool it had drama um it had romance like it had suspense like it was it was awesome i really did enjoy it um but it's definitely a movie that i'm gonna have to watch more than once just because it is so complex and multifactorial it, it was just a lot but i definitely did um enjoy watching it so then we came home we ate me and maya watched one episode of john and kate plus eight and then i completely fell asleep did not charge my phone didn't charge my watch didn't do anything like literally just fell asleep on the couch woke up this morning and i decided that since today is the first of the month that i'm gonna try my own version of 75 hard just because y'all know i'm getting married and like even if i wasn't getting married like i still want to get back on track i found that when my life doesn't have structure i start to get really sad about stuff very easily so this is like the little bit of structure that i need so for the month of august this is what i'm going to be doing at least one bottle of water a day read for one hour do my three good things over on my instagram every day if you don't know my three good things over on instagram is when i talk about three good things that happen throughout the day and i do it every day um one 30 minute workout at least run at least 20 miles this month not like in a day like throughout the month run 20 miles um if i miss a component of any of these then i have to physically write why my health and fitness journey is important to me and why i'm doing it but i don't have to start over i just have to write you know why it's important um cook one new meal each week with veggies uh find one new hobby that's not exercise related and practice it every day one weekly weight check-in do three gym wins a week so let's say like oh, i did a pull-up today or i ran my fastest mile this week you know stuff like that um, one progress picture or video every day, track intake with Nutrition Coach, which is the app that I use to track all my calories, and then do 10,000 steps a day. That sounds fun. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, we're going to the gym. I'm kind of excited. Um, and then we're going to go to Ikea because I need to find a couch. So let's go. All right, y'all. So I am back from the gym. When I went to the gym, like, you know how, like, you scan your key card and, like, your name and your picture pops up? Well, I was using my mom's membership and so the lady goes oh hey Gwen and I was like you know hi just trying to like keep up with you know the cover or whatever so I go over to the treadmill and I'm about to start running and then she comes up to me she's like hey Gwen like I don't know how this happened but like we never got a picture of you and like we also need you to sign some documents I was like oh do you need me to do it right now and she was like no just like do it before you leave and I was like okay so literally the entire time I was at the gym I was trying to wait for her to not be at the desk so that I could slip out just because I didn't want to take the picture and then like every time my mom goes to the gym they're like girl this is not you so I had to escape from her today but the workout was really good um, now we're going to go to Ikea it's probably gonna be like an hour-long drive and yeah we're gonna find a couch for me and Justin's new apartment like I told y'all I feel like I've told you this before but Justin like likes to sit on the couch like he is not just gonna lay in the bed all day because he'll be sleep so he spends a lot of his time on the couch I love a good couch so I just want to make sure that we get a really good one um, I also have a really bad texture problem. It's like if something is linty, or I guess the technical word for it is peeling, like when fabric has that little, it kind of balls up on itself. I hate that. It makes me gag if I see it. So I need to find a couch that isn't going to do that. It's super soft, very comfortable. I'm looking into modular sectionals. And I keep saying I just because, like, Justin trusts my taste. And of course, like, I'll run it past him and say, like, hey, like, this is the couch I'm thinking about. And he'll be like, yeah, like, you know, that's cool. And then send me his half for the couch or whatever. Anyway um those are the kind of couches that we're looking for i feel like it's going to be kind of an all-day ordeal but we literally don't have anything else to do today so the first thing we're going to do is go to the coffee shop i got my free starbucks drink today and it's literally the best starbucks drink ever screenshot yeah all right y'all so it's like 5 12. we sat through traffic for like almost two hours and it was horrible but now we're in ikea and we're gonna find some couches i'm already hating just even the way that this couch looks like i, I can't even stand it 
Okay, so this is the first couch that I'm looking at. The goal of couch shopping is to get a couch that looks like people live there and not like a stuffy couch where you feel like people aren't allowed to sit when they come over. So this is the name of it. That's the name of it. But I also want it to be a sectional. So I need like that one part that like pulls out that you can kind of like lay on. So this is definitely contender number one. Okay, so this is another contender for the couch. I like this couch even better than I liked the other couch. This is the name of it. And then that's the price. Honestly, y'all, I would buy this couch today. I would definitely have to get like a couch cover or something just because I'm not crazy about the texture. But overall, I really, really like this couch. All right, so this is the second couch I'm thinking about getting. This is the name of it. And then that's how much it is. And honestly, I really like this couch because it has so much bounce to it. Like that is awesome. And I can genuinely see myself with this couch. The only thing is, is that it doesn't have like the little feet out part but i feel like you can add that on so this is definitely my number one for right now hey vlog i forgot to bring my vlog camera inside but we got this place called burrito and one that we go here every time i come home um and i got four cheese tacos some consomme and justin and maya both got enchiladas justin, justin. i'll just say jojo jojo <laughs> kobe kobe and maya got the what is it called uh the case of beer yes and then it's me and Toby got beer. sprite and yeah maya went to go and get her consomme because i forgot it all right so it is 907 we finally made it home from the video place that we were at and we weren't like super far away from home but it said it was going to take us like almost an hour to get home and it's because the forest next to our house caught on fire and they changed a four lane freeway into a one lane freeway. So, so I took so long. So, you know, hope everybody's okay. We also came home and apparently we missed a FedEx package. I don't know who it's for, but hopefully it's not Orange Theory thing. If not, that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna go and take an everything shower because it's just been a really long day. Um, and yeah, I'll see y'all when I get out. All right, good afternoon vlog. Today is Wednesday, August the 2nd at 2.30 p.m. Um, I was having a really bad morning this morning and that's why I just kind of haven't been vlogging because I just like needed a second and just kind of needed to not have a camera in my face. But the reason that I was upset was because I, like whenever I'm on my period, I get so body conscious. My period's off now, but of course I'm so body conscious because like I'm bloated and like my skin is doing weird things and it's just like really bad and so I was just kind of feeling very down and out on myself this morning but like when it comes to a fitness journey like if my goal is to lose weight the only thing that's going to help me lose weight is to be in a caloric deficit and to work out but of course I'm like oh I don't want to work out but as soon as I get into the gym I'm like bro this is the best I've ever felt in my entire life so I'm kind of just having to work through that right now had me a little cry sesh it was good it was good um decided that i was going to go ahead and drop off the rental car just because i didn't want my day to be contingent upon like having the rental car and like dropping it off at a certain time so i went ahead and dropped it off they accepted it back they're like everything was good i was like great my uber driver picked me up and he was listening to the most explicit podcast ever and i was so uncomfortable so 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 uncomfortable he dropped me off at home. I didn't even let him drop me off at my actual house. I made him drop me off like a few blocks away just because like I, I don't want you to know where I live at all. Um, so anyway, came upstairs, talked to Justin, um, just kind of chopped it up with him a little bit. Um, and now I need to clean the house because all of my siblings are gone. And somehow I ended up being the only person that's going to be able to clean the house before my mom and niece should get back from Vegas because they're still in Vegas. Um, so yeah, we're going to clean the house. We're going to go to the gym. And then the goal is to go to um, Firehouse Sub. I'm going to get me a sandwich. And I'm going to sit by the pool, read on my Kindle, jump in the pool maybe. Um, and just, just have a good day. Just work on having a good day. I had to fill up the rental car with gas before I... Um, took it back and when I tell you literally everything fell out of my my belt bag I was like bro that was literally my last straw but we persevered I'm here you know everything's fine 
Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna clean the house. I would love to do a cleaning montage, but I feel like my mom would obliterate me if I ever showed, you know, our house in a dirty state. So I'll come back and show y'all the after when the house is super clean. All right, so it's like 6-11 <clears throat> and, <clears throat> sorry. As I was walking, my woman intuition just kind of kicked in and it was like, Joanna, do not walk to Target. I don't know why, but like, don't walk to Target. Don't go, don't go, don't go. So I was like, okay, fine. I was right next to Firehouse Subs anyway, so I went to Firehouse Sub. Food's over there. Um, I don't know what freaky weird situation would have happened to me had I gone, but I'm glad I didn't. So now I'm gonna eat. All right, guys, the TV is going on in the background, but we ended up making some cookies. And then I'm also going to have a little bit of my ice cream. It's the Ben and Jerry's ice cream Sammy. Um, Mom and Nisha still in our backyard. They're probably literally just pulling up outside right now. But after this, we're probably gonna relax for a little bit and go to sleep, so I'll see y'all in the morning. Hey, good afternoon, friends. Today is Thursday, sorry. Today is Thursday, August the 3rd at 2.08 p.m. Just now starting my day, <sighs> you know? Um, but yeah, so recently I've been having like a very bad like body kind of day, you know what I mean? Then I put these shorts on and I put the sports one on and I was like, bro, like I'm literally, you know what I'm saying? I'm literally so sexy, you know what I mean? And of course, like I'm still, you know, body issues, you know what I'm saying? Definitely want to tone up some more in the stomach area, you know, the arms, you know what I'm saying? The back, you know what I mean? Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, it's okay. It's okay. It is okay. I can, I have one of two options. I can sit here and feel bad about myself about the fact that I haven't been as active as I once was. It's like, oh my God, I'm so sad, poor Triana. Or I can get up, I can put on a cute little gym outfit and I can go to the gym and I can run and I can actively work towards my goal. So obviously I'm gonna choose the second option. So we're going to the gym today. Apparently today in my, what is it called? Half marathon training program with the Nike Run Club app. So let's be doing interval training. I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna do it, it is what it is. Um, let's do a roll call of where everybody is. Maya is at work. She's not having the best day ever. So y'all send some good thoughts, good prayers, good energy towards my sis. Kobe is out at our pool with his friends. Nisha just went to go walk to Target. My mom is at work and I'm here. Justin is also at work. Justin's not here, Justin is still um, in Alabama. So that's why it's like we literally got engaged and then y'all didn't see him. So still engaged, not wearing my engagement ring. I really need to go and get a silicone ring. That will happen eventually. I, I, I eventually will go and get that. But it also feels like weird to go and get my, what's the latest little coming? It doesn't matter who gets it. I was gonna say I feel like Justin should get it, but I mean he would if I asked him to, but I, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're gonna go to the gym today. I'm still trying to keep up with my building a better Jayana challenge. I also feel like I need to be maxed out on social media today. Like I have maxed out. I was supposed to be sitting on the couch reading for an hour and I ended up scrolling through Instagram and TikTok back and forth for like two hours. So that's just like too much social media for me today and I need to cut back on it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start off our day with this little workout and then after my speed training, we're gonna do, oh, we're gonna do arms. That was so lame and so cringy. I'm so sorry for that. Um, yeah, we're gonna do some arms. Also, Orange Theory sent me a heart rate monitor, which if you've never been to Orange, the Orange Theory, I posted about it, not the last vlog, but the vlog before, like everything you need to know about Orange Theory, but you wear this heart rate monitor, um, and it pretty much tells you like what heart rate zone you're in. And so they sent me one, and they sent it to the house, but we weren't at the house that day because we were Barbenheimering that day. Um, so they left us a door tag. And so I was like, you know what? Like, I don't want to be sitting at home like all day yesterday waiting for them to bring it. So let me just get on the send it to um, a UPS so that I can just go and get it. So there's a Safeway not too far away. So we're going to go to the Safeway and pick it up. But anyway, they sent it to me. So I really wanted to wear it today, but I have to wait for my sister because my sister's name is on the package because the community that we live in, like you can't even have a package delivered to your door, delivered to the Amazon parcel lockers, unless your name is like, on the lease or like you are like in the household so of course my brother my mom my sister like like everybody has their name on it except for me because i'm only here like a few weeks out of the year so if i i made the mistake of last time when i got my airpods when i was here and i'm literally rambling but the last time when i sent my airpods like i full sent i was like you know what i'm gonna buy these airpod headphones right now so i bought them and then they got them it said delivered but the lady she like sent them back she sent them back she's like oh no like no no Diana lives here sent them back 
And she, like, I didn't even find out that she sent it back until much, much later. And so I had to follow a police report. So I was like, uh, what's your name? What's your name? Anyway, ended up finding him, yay. Um, now I still have him a year later. But long story short, like, nothing can be sent here with my name on it. And so I can't even go to UPS and pick it up. Like, my sister has to be the one to pick it up. Anyway, I'll have the heart rate monitor tomorrow. And I'll be wearing it. And it'll be, like, a fun little new component to my workout. Um, I don't know if I'm stalling or if I really just missed y'all. I'm pretty sure I just missed y'all because I don't mind going to the gym today because I know that it's going to get me the body that I want. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to the gym and I'll pick y'all back up after. Alright guys, I'm back. It is 3.57. I ended up doing the Stairmaster because the treadmill like broke while I was trying to do my sprint intervals. Um, so I got on the Stairmaster instead, ended up doing 100 floors on the Stairmaster while I watched Jayla Majette over on YouTube. Her channel is amazing. I absolutely love like how vulnerable she, vulnerable she is about everything. It was just amazing. She just posted a 40 minute video like maybe a few days ago. So I finally got to catch up on it and watch it and time went by literally so fast. And then I got off it and I wanted to just like walk on the treadmill because magically it was working as soon as I got on the Stairmaster, which, you know, maybe divine intervention. Maybe I was just supposed to do the Stairmaster today. Anyway, got on the treadmill and I walked on. I ended up doing 12, 3, 30 and now I'm gonna go outside and we're gonna go to Target actually today actually 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 we're gonna go to Target today which is great um yes what else what else what else no that's pretty much it yes we're gonna go to Target I'm gonna take y'all not in vlog camera form but in the form of my phone so let's go long story short went to FedEx today tried to get a package they refused to give me the package and offered little to no explanation. And they sent it back, like they sent it back to the sender in front of my face. I could not explain to you the rage that I felt. Um, so anybody that works at FedEx, screw you, because y'all are horrible people. Also, we were in to pick up the package. It's not a very person friendly place. Um, and I feel like that had a lot to do with it, which is very disheartening. Um, so yeah, I had to reorder what I needed to order. Um, and it was just the Orange Theory Fitness, um, armband that they had sent to me for free because like I'm doing promo and like partnership with them. Um, so I just ended up having to buy it. It's like $142 after shipping or whatever. So we're just going to get it shipped directly to the house. And whatever day they said they're going to ship it to the house, that is the day that I'll be at the house. But it's just very frustrating that they sent it back in my face. Like, sorry, you're not getting this package. Yeah, so. So anyway, also, I haven't washed my hair in two weeks. That's really horrible. Um, we're going to wash it today because I went to Target. I went to Target and I picked up my favorite shampoo. You can literally use a dime size. I don't know why it's out of focus right now. Hey, focus. Okay. Um, but you can literally use a dime size amount of this and you're going to be super clean. Super clean. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. I also called Hannah and Naya today just because I miss them and I haven't seen them in a really long time and I won't see them for like another three weeks. So that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, but it's also sad to think about like the closer that I get to seeing them, the less time that I'm going to be able to spend with my family. But this is the longest time I've been able to spend with my family in a really long time because I'm usually only able to be here for like a few months out of, not a few months, Lord, online, like maybe one to two weeks at a time. So it's really nice to be there um, longer, which is great. Uh, so yeah, Maya is making macadamia cookies. So I'm going to have that and like a little scoop of ice cream. And I'm going to wash my hair and oh my gosh, I'm going to feel so much better once I wash my hair. My life is just going to be sit back on track um but yeah let's hop in the shower morning vlog today is friday august the 4th at 11 39 p.m and i hit 100,000 followers on instagram today that is crazy i don't know what else to say besides thank you and then i appreciate y'all and i love y'all and i'm just so happy that i feel comfortable enough on the internet to just share my life organically and i don't know it just makes me really happy for breakfast i'm having four little bites muffins that's how many come in like the little small packages for and then i'm having two eggs with two scrambled eggs with cheese and then we're gonna go on a run today okay nike hat that i literally wear every single day i got this baby tee from target i'm pretty sure it's by the brand wild fable it's five bucks uh, i have a buff bunny sports bra on underneath but i'm gonna keep this shirt on pretty much the entire day uh, these shorts that I got from Amazon, they're by the brand Koala Fitness. They're like a Lululemon dupe. And then my running shoes of the day are going to be my Hoka Bondi 8s. 
And then I also have, from all the way out, but my lifting shoes, these are the Nike Blazer High Tops. And yeah, let's hope today that that same lady that tried to get me to take a picture is not in there because technically I'm using my mom's thingy because I don't have one. So, and me and my mom look nothing alike as y'all have seen. So, hopefully it's okay. I'm gonna take some, why is it blurry right now? Hello? Look at me, look at me. You looking? I know that thing from TikTok. Anyway, um, that was embarrassing. I probably should cut that out. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna get my water. All right, so I got my water, got my headphones. Um, we're gonna go, y'all wish me luck. All right, so it is 2.54. Just finished working out at the gym. Um, it was really good, but I'm super sore already. Um, so I figured that I would just go ahead and do a Q&A outside because the weather in Seattle today is absolutely gorgeous and it feels so good. So let's go through some of these questions that I have. I feel like it would have been better to do this at sunset, but the sun doesn't go down until like 10 p.m. So here we are. Okay, let's start at the very beginning. I have so many questions. Someone said, how do you stay consistent or what recommendations do you have? How I stay consistent in the gym is really easy. I plan my day around the gym. I don't plan the gym around my day because I'm super busy constantly. And if I try to like insert the gym into a part of my day, I'm never gonna have time for it. But if I make the gym a priority, then you know the rest of my day kind of follows suit and I end up feeling a lot more productive which is great um, I also usually buy new workout clothes every week so that kind of motivates me too it gets a little sticky because it ends up being a lot of money but it's worth it and you know the clothes go to good use um, what part of the wedding are you most excited for I think the part that I'm most excited for is the venue the photographs the videos um, and just being married to my high school sweetheart because I feel like that's amazing. I also don't have my ring because I just came from the gym, so no shade, please. Thank you. Um, how do you manage nursing school assignments with working and being an influencer? Can y'all hear that plane or no? Um, how, what was the question again? How do you manage nursing school assignments with working and being an influencer? You don't really have that many assignments in nursing school. I'm also off for the summer until like three weeks from now. Um, but it's usually just kind of studying. The farther along you get in nursing school, the more you start to realize how certain professors ask questions. And you can kind of tell like the stuff that they spend a lot of time on, like, oh, if that's something that they're gonna ask on the test. But that's not always true because sometimes they will spend an hour and 45 minutes on a topic and then never ask you a question about it ever in your life. So I feel like you just kind of figure it out, which I know that's kind of like an annoying and a vague way to answer that question, but you kind of just figure it out. Um, but I'm very like, focus like when I have an assignment that has to be done like I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna knock it out within at least like 30 minutes if it's a bigger assignment maybe like an hour so I'm very good about that um and being an influencer I just I hate that word influencer I just kind of document my everyday life and I enjoy doing it so it doesn't feel like a job so it doesn't really interfere with my schoolwork but also my schoolwork is a part of my daily life so it ends up being a part of the vlog you know what I mean so it doesn't really like feel like an extra added weight your fitness goals for the rest of the year um to run six miles without stopping to tone up my body um to lose x amount of weight i don't want to say how much it is just because i don't want somebody to look at my body and be like oh well i thought my body looks great and now she's saying like oh she wants to lose you know x amount of weight so lose x amount of weight um what else um continue to diversify my workouts so like not just weightlifting but weightlifting and running and orange theory and pilates and yoga just to make it not boring because only doing one of those things consistently throughout the week just sounds like a nightmare do you have any workout clothes that you don't want i'll gladly take them uh unfortunately well not unfortunately i guess fortunately when i moved out of my apartment a few vlogs ago i ended up giving most of my regular clothes and almost all of my workout clothes to my local women and children's shelter so i don't have any so if you see me outfit repeating that's why Wedding colors, navy and pink. How old are you? I am 23 years old. How long have you had JoJo? I've had JoJo since he was eight weeks old. His birthday is February 15th of 2022. I got him from the local animal shelter. And yeah, that's my baby, I love him. They sent me pictures of him because um, y'all know he's being boarded slash at daycare. So he goes to daycare every day from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. And he's like literally running around with all his friends being so crazy. Um, and they show me like when he gets his bedtime treats and like him smiling, like he's having the time of his life. Um, not a question, but I love your energy and authenticity. Your vlogs are my fave. Thanks. Um, how many times a week do you run? Also best plan to increase miles for running. How many times do I run a week? Maybe like three to four times a week. And how to best increase 
your mileage i feel like for me i was somebody that wasn't even able to run two miles without stopping but one week i was like okay let me run for two minutes without stopping and the next week let's run three and the next week let's run four and then you just kind of increase like the amount of time that you're able to keep running and then your distance increases from there um how to get back motivated and going to the gym i'm struggling sis buy new workout clothes i'm telling you it it will motivate you like no other buy new workout clothes go to a new gym diversify your workout um bring a friend with you film it um take pictures like all of that really really helps me um would you be interested in doing a meet and greet i feel like i am not even quote unquote famous enough to be doing a meet and greet but it, i will never say never so i'm not opposed to that um steps on getting started with running i want to get started so bad honestly download the nike run club app and you will you will be a runner i promise you um they have guided runs and the guided runs like i really didn't understand them when i first downloaded the app but basically coach bennett is in your ear while you're running telling you how you are the best most amazing runner he has ever encountered in his entire life and he'll give you like tips and it's ugh, it's amazing download the nike run club app if you're having like if you don't even know where to start download the nike run club app they also have training plans for like i'm a beginner runner like i've never run in my entire life beginner running plan 5k um half marathon marathon ultra marathon like they have all kinds of training plans literally for everybody what's your study schedule i feel like i'm having a hard time studying i used to study for six hours every single day in nursing school when i was in my third semester which is also known as the weed out semester um now i don't do that anymore and this sounds so convoluted but i'm, I'm explaining to you my entire study process right now so basically the way that it goes that monday i'm not doing any work i'm not studying i'm not doing nothing right but then the next day i will like go back through the powerpoint and write each slide and like explain everything in my own words and like put pictures and like twitter memes of like Nicki minaj and like like it's funny it's funny and so then i remember it and then like after each powerpoint slide i'll write like questions that i think the professor would ask in the way that they would ask them and you spend so much time doing that on those slides like putting your eyeballs on that information over and over again that you end up learning it then after that's done I go through the PowerPoint again and I make every single like bullet or like piece of pertinent information on the PowerPoint slide into a Quizlet question and I go through the Quizlet questions like while I'm walking or like I'm just on my phone like I'm on TikTok for 30 minutes like I'll stop and do like 10 minutes of studying um just stuff like that and girl girl you will be stellar you'll be amazing in nursing school guarantee guarantee what camera do you use this camera is the sony zv1f and i absolutely love it the quality is amazing um how did you lose weight did you calorie count macros or just being mindful how did i lose weight i just honestly like long story short i just um increased my activity level and i was a lot more mindful of what i eat i also use nutrition coach to um track my calorie intake i guess and it just makes it really easy have you found a photographer videographer for your wedding yeah if not i sent a dm um we haven't found anybody yet i'm still waiting to figure out what my nursing school schedule is going to be because like our wedding plans are all kind of contingent upon that so i don't know it's making it really difficult but no i haven't found anyone just yet what supplements do you use uh and thank you for being so real about your body um what supplements do i use i take the ollie's women multivitamin every day i take two which is the recommended dose and then i take two um vitamin c gummies and that's all i take oh and i take a uh, pre-workout before i work out how do you start in the content creator world tips please honestly and i feel like this is annoying and like this is vague and this is whatever but i feel like the easiest way to start with content creating is just to create content and just to be yourself everything is content and if you're somebody like me you think like oh my gosh my life is boring like nobody's gonna watch an hour-long vlog that i make yes they will yes they will you are going to resonate with somebody but you have to put yourself out there or else they'll never be able to find you so just keep posting content and everybody starts at zero that's another thing that i had to realize like everything that you post is not going to go viral like i don't care how many followers you have like everything you post is not going to be a global sensation and you have to be okay with that you genuinely have to be okay with that but i also saw someone else say like you need to post content as if everything that you as if everything that you post is going to get a million views or a million likes that way like it takes a lot of the pressure off so just think about it like that but just like honestly create content and don't try to like be like somebody else when you're creating your content because then it becomes a job and you're not going to want to do it and you're not going to be passionate about it and it's not going to be sustainable because you're going to end up hating it because you can't even be yourself what is your recommendation for beginner runner shoe the hoka bandai 8s 
and the on cloud monsters those are my favorite do you want kids if so what age this is a question that Justin and I have gotten a lot especially since we got engaged and we're already telling people that we're getting married relatively soon let me just go ahead and squash all the rumors no I am not pregnant I have never been pregnant um I was gonna say if I was pregnant that I would like tell y'all but well yeah I feel like I actually would tell y'all because it wouldn't be something that I would be ashamed of um but as of today as of right now whatever today is today is probably like august the 4th or something like that i'm not pregnant i'm not pregnant and that's not the reason that things are going so fast with our wedding but as far as the question at hand what they asked um justin and i are not people to like never say never but when we talked about it recently the answer was more so sure but not right now i feel like when you have a kid like you have to accept the fact that your life has to slow down in order to like pour everything that you have into your child and I'm 23 years old and I'm just not ready to slow my life down because I feel like I just started living it so not just yet but maybe maybe someday but at the present time I'm not really interested in being a mother do you weight lift on the days that you go running love your content um it depends on how long the run is like if I only run why is this plane circling back what is happening um if it's only a day where I'm running like a mile then okay Mr. Plane you're very loud um, but if it's a day where I'm only running like a mile then yes I weight lift but if I'm running farther distances like a 5k then nah I won't weight lift because I'll be way too tired do you plan on still being an influencer when you're done with school um it, the short answer to that is yes my content will just change from like nursing student lifestyle to like being a nurse wife dog mom lifestyle um do you plan on posting wedding day content yes but not in the sense of like my phone daily vlog for tiktok of course y'all will be able to see like all the cool behind the scenes stuff that i won't post like right off on my instagram but we do plan on hiring a photographer and a videographer so that i can be more present on our wedding day and not be worried about like oh let me film this for tiktok oh let me film this for instagram oh this will be a cool instagram reel so yes i will be filming it but y'all probably well i say y'all they probably won't know up until maybe like a week after we get married or whenever i post post my youtube vlog so y'all will be the first ones to know y'all always the first ones to know literally everything so perks of being a youtube girly um, do you see yourself pursuing content creation full-time or always being a nurse um basically and this is like no hate to anybody that does this but i could never see myself giving up all the blood sweat and tears that i'm putting into my nursing degree to pursue content creation full time because social media can be here today and gone tomorrow but a nursing degree as long as you play your cards right a nursing degree is forever and i don't want to forfeit all the hard work that i've done and given into this degree just to do social media i feel like at this present time i'm in a place where i can do both i can do nursing and i can do social media but if i ever had to pick between the two i'm always going to pick nursing i'm never going to pick social media over nursing um what type of vlogging camera do you use so of course i just said i use the sony zv1f for my youtube videos and then for my tiktok vlogs and my instagram reels i use um my back camera on my iphone 14 pro and 4k 60 and then 0.5 zoom how long did it take for your running to improve i feel like my running improved every time i ran just because i was trying harder and i was like unlocking new abilities in my body um what meal plan while losing weight initially i never followed a meal plan i just always stayed in a caloric deficit and i ate everything in moderation so um how do you edit your videos on my phone for my tiktok and my instagram reels i use CapCut on my phone to edit my youtube vlogs i use CapCut on my macbook so easy any advice for first semester nursing students i've been scared to start all summer lol um my biggest piece of advice is that everyone that's friendly is not your friend so be very careful who you like complain to um, and also be very careful who you share your grades with because I had an experience in nursing school where I thought that someone was my friend and they weren't. They were going back and telling their other friends who did not like me everything that I was saying and twisting my words and like making me seem like a really bad person. And there were conversations like, oh, Diana does social media and she has followers and she thinks she said this and she thinks she said that. And, you know, Diana thinks she's better than everybody else. And and you know none of that is true i feel like especially like on youtube and instagram i feel like every single video i'm saying how grateful i am for the life that i have and the lifestyle that i'm able 
to live and I would never I would just never talk in that way ever so she's a loser but <laughs> anyway oh also find quickly find a group of friends that you feel comfortable like complaining to and just talking to chopping it up with studying with because that does make a difference um i've never been to office hours but i've heard the office hours are helpful so i'm gonna say go to office hours um yeah i think that's my my biggest pieces of advice oh also find a hobby in nursing school like do not be like me like how i was in third semester and study for six hours a day and like completely block your friends out which thankfully my most of my friends were nursing majors so like they got it but like find a hobby find something that's like not nursing related and do that so that you can maintain some sliver of your mental sanity um, also do a nurse externship if one is available in your area. The only requirement for my nurse externship was to be actively enrolled in nursing school, have completed pharmacology and fundamentals. So yeah, it's amazing. And it's a paid position for me. I don't know if all nurse externships are paid positions, but ooh, mine was. Um, what are some major goals that you want to accomplish this year? Y'all, I'm so sorry. I don't know why the planes are just like flying. Um, I want to graduate nursing school. Um, put my passport to good use so you know go out of the country for the first time because I feel like that'd be awesome um, get married sign up for a race because I feel like that's something that I'm just like not doing that I feel like I have full capability to do nothing major just like a 5k how do you balance being consistent with working out and eating healthy I feel like posting on social media has been like a very big determining factor in me being able to stay consistent because I'm posting myself and being vulnerable and I'm sharing that online with hundreds of thousands of other people that probably feel the exact same way and they're encouraging me and they're motivating me so it's easier for me to keep going I feel like that's probably the way that I stay the most consistent how often do you move your body trying to find a fitness routine I usually try to be active at least 30 minutes every single day with the caveat of like if I work and I'm like working a three night stretch then you know I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm gonna move my body at work but on the days that like I'm here at home in Seattle I'm gonna try to move my body for at least 30 minutes every single day that's the goal any hair tips and products for keeping your curls nice while working out and keeping busy um, my current hair products that I use are the inner sense inner sense hair detox it's your hair will be clean but like not in a stripped clean kind of way like in an actual clean kind of way um, and then for my conditioner, styler, mousse, and gel, I use the Camille Rose. The Camille Rose um, Honey Hydrate Conditioner, the Camille Rose Curl Style Maker, the Camille Rose, uh, what is it called? Spiked Honey Mousse. And then I use the Wetline Extreme Gel. I hope that y'all enjoyed this week's vlog. Thank y'all so much for spending this hour with me. I will see y'all next week. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. I love you. Also, a very big thank you to everyone that has been so kind and so encouraging and just so lovely throughout our entire engagement. Like, the amount of love that I have felt has been absolutely amazing. And I cannot even put into words how grateful we both are to have so many amazing people in our corner. So, thank you.